Chatham Chat List. We're at the Chatham County Ag Fest here in Pittsburgh on what day? The 30th of March. We're with Stephanie and Rebecca. Stephanie's on the right, Rebecca's on the left. And, and folks, um, I had to stop because just look at that horse. <laughs> Stephanie, what is, what is going on here? Oh, uh, well, um, just a little bit of an anatomy lesson. You know, it's really common that a lot of people think that the spinal cord in the horse is up here at the top. And it turns out that's actually an, a ligament called the nuchal ligament. Um, so it's a really fun... Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's a ligament? A ligament is a piece of soft tissue that connects um, to bony parts. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you for the side comment. All right, so, the, so that's where the spine is. All right, keep going. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we have the scapula here and the shoulder here, but it's a really fun comparative anatomy problem. So if I was to put my arm and my shoulder next to his, you can kind of see... The horses actually got their bones from down here much more elongated. And oh, that's gotcha. what makes them tall compared to me where, um, you know, most of my height comes from the, the long bones instead of the bones that are further down. All right. So we're just trying to give everybody a little bit of an idea of where things lived in the horse. Um, and where exactly is that heart there? Ironically, that's very similar to where the heart lives in the, in the horse. Um, so normally when we take our stethoscope, we... We stick it right up in here in order to actually listen to them. And you just tickled him, didn't you? I did. I did. He's real ticklish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Poor guy. He's been painted all morning instead of getting to eat his breakfast. Now, now, as general advice, you folks are experts, so you wouldn't advise that some kid just go out and find a horse and start painting on him. No, I would not. No. Right. Um, we picked the <laughs> the calmest and the most uh, tolerant of my ponies okay. um, to, to paint this morning. And he's just a bit excited because there's all kinds of horses around for him to talk to. So what's going to happen today is as kids come by and go, Hey, Mommy, look at that horse. Can I paint one like this at home? And they say, No, you're going to explain the anatomy of a horse to him. That is correct. All right. And then on the back is we have Polaris Equine, which is, that is your... Us your mobile veterinary clinic. I know that because it says so on the side of the truck. <laughs> See, us men are pretty observant. We don't ask for directions, but we can read. We do, so. we do try and spell everything out for you. All right, and you travel, I assume you come into Chatham County since you're here. Yep, so we're based out of Pittsburgh, but we drive about an hour in any direction. All right, so folks, if you're in Chatham County and you need a vet, or you want a drawing of an animal, because... <laughs> well, know. normally I'm not very good at art. Thankfully, I can feel all the different bones in him, and that's where I know how to put them down. Has, has Farrington approached you about appearing in their art uh, folk art show? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Look, this is look. our first Maybe exhibit. Our they may after this. They may after this. But hey, you need to reach out to them. Their number is 919-429-9492. That's correct. Thank you, you very much, Stephanie and Rebecca. And their mom doesn't want to tell me what her name is. <laughs>